Hi viewers, it's been a while since I've made a video, the reason being that I've been uh, closely following the uh, silver and gold prices to uh, you know, try and get an inclination of which way they're headed. And uh, anyway, I thought they were uh, low enough to take a visit to my local coin store. And uh, that's really why I'm making this video, because um, my visit was very interesting. Um, he actually had zero silver bullion uh, coins or bars, absolutely nothing. And um, so I asked him how, how you know, how come he he got not got anything? And uh, basically, he said he's got two buyers going in every week, buying everything up, and uh, they are paying. Thirty pounds an ounce, and obviously most of my viewers are from the U.S., so I have converted that for you. It's about forty-one dollars an ounce. Yep, they are paying forty-one dollars an ounce, and they're buying it all, which is why he had nothing. Um, he did have quite a nice selection of coins. Well, quite a large selection of coins, um, but really nothing in high grade, other than maybe uh, some British copper, which. Uh, was very nice but uh, not really what I want to be stacking. Um, so I did pick up a couple Morgan dollars which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the other interesting thing was that he only had five, no six, uh, fractional gold coins. That's all he had, six. And um, I mean they were a good price, they were spot literally. He was weighing them and yeah this is x this is y whatever they say they were at spot so clearly he's paying under spot for them um two of them were proofs but they were pretty ugly pop joy mint things um sovereigns and half sovereigns which were pretty rough i must say <laughs> and uh, the only coin that i would have bought was a german uh, 20 marks uh, which he'd earmarked for another buyer, so I couldn't even buy it. Uh, it's a bit dis disappointing visit, really. So I, I looked through all the silver coins, and none of them were particularly high grade. Even the, say these Morgans aren't great, and also not very cheap either. Hopefully that will focus in. Um, and he got the dates labelled up on them wrong, but that's neither in nor there. I mean, I, I'm going to cut these out because I don't actually um, really like these stapled in things, really. Some people like them, but not, uh, not for me. But there's two reasons that I'll take them out. And, uh, of course, you'll see in a minute why. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan of those catching your fingers on them staples that'll hurt anyway so yeah I, th I think these were the only two Morgans he had he had a couple peace dollars as well but again nothing in uh, nice grade but uh, obviously <laughs> the reason I take them out is <laughs> to check them I mean he does have one of my slides so he uh, can check them and probably has but uh, all, always for my own peace of mind I would like to check these coins um, obviously as you know these are available uh, in the US, Canada and the UK so it's uh, now that we've got them out of them horrible uh, sleeves we can have a closer look at this 1880 Like I say, it's not uh, not the greatest. The chest feathers are uh, pretty flat. Uh, and the other one, which is an 1885, I believe. But uh, so anyway, two more Morgans towards my stack. Um, I've probably got some air tights for those. I'll put them in, not that... Uh, they're that precious, but the, the price of them, they are bloody precious because <laughs> they're nowhere near milk value. Anyway, so that was the, the story really, is that, uh, you know, is there, a, is there a trend for people buying up silver at, uh, I mean, that is a massive amount over spot. I mean, uh, currently at the recording of this, I think spot's about 
20 I haven't actually looked but I think it's about $23 uh, to be paying 41 for it just sounds absolutely insane um, I don't know let me know your thoughts uh, down in the comments um, you know are these are these people that are buying all this uh, silver bullion up from my LCS are they ever going to make any money on, on it I don't know I don't know it seems I mean it doesn't sound like I'm going to be able to buy anything from him if he wants that price again because I don't, there's no way I'm, I'm paying that uh, not you know the, the all the years I've been stacking and having bought it at much lower um, I just couldn't bring myself to do it, especially as I've got a considerable stack anyway. So, um, so I could be looking at some more numismatic uh, collector silver now, or um, if he has any more interesting gold rather than uh, uh, general uh, junk. Really, um, even though it was spot, you know, it was a good price, but uh, I don't know. I, I've got a feeling uh, gold could be heading down a little bit lower, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, thank you all for watching and uh, catch up with you all on the next one. Bye.